Hello, and welcome to what Jack has made. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up your WordPress database and set it up so that you are able to keep backups on a weekly basis. So to start off with, I'm going to log into my dashboard and then go to the plugins and add a new plugin. Now we're going to search for wp-db-backup and as you can see I searched for it before and we want to find the one by Austin Matzko probably wasn't the best pronunciation but then we install the plugin and activate it and then once it's installed if we go to tools and then backup we now have a new table that wasn't available before and by here we are allowed to choose what we want to back up from our website database. So you can choose what tables you want to back up, how you want to back it up. So you can either download it to your computer. So if I click back up now, it'll sort of compile all the information on the website and then it'll present it to you in a SQL zip file. Or the alternative option would to be to email it to you. So I could send it to my work email address and then I'd have the file there stored and it wouldn't be on my computer so it would be more secure for me to use in the future. But if my email was hacked then it could relate to security issues. Um, and then now we have the option to schedule a backup. So instead of having a backup that we do manually every time, we can set it up so that the backup happens on a regular basis. So we can either do it every hour, twice a day, once a day, or once weekly. Now, depending on what your website's used for, you may want to back up several times a day or several times a week. But as I'm using mine for just posting my blog posts and my artwork, I would commonly just use once weekly. And then you put in an email address. And then once you click schedule backup, it's saved and now every week I will receive an email with my database. So it's a great way of making sure that you keep all of your information safe on your WordPress website. If your WordPress website was to go down, you could just import it again using another plugin that I will go over in the future. So I hope you found this helpful and it's great to keep your information secure so I definitely recommend this plugin and I'll be going over more WordPress plugins in the future.